Hi guys, so here in front of me, I have the new DJI M400. This is a brand new drone in, uh, in the box still, as you can see. And so in this video, we're gonna be doing the uh, unboxing of uh, this drone. So we'll show you what comes with it, as well as show you our first impressions and also do the comparison between the M400 and the M350 drones. So we can now get started. you can definitely feel the weight of this because I believe this should be the drone without the battery, but uh, let's see. So inside the box, obviously you can see we have the drone, we have the remote controller. So now let's take, let's take them out one by one and then see. Now up here you can see you have the uh, landing gear. So this we can already take and put inside the drone. So again, I'm, I'm doing this for the first time, but since I'm used to doing this for the uh, M300, M350, so uh, this all actually feels quite familiar. And now we can take the drone from the landing gear. And now also we can take out the uh, RC. So remote controller feels uh, very, very familiar if you're used to the M300, M350. Uh, we'll t take off this cover in just a bit, so you can also hear it. But yeah, can't, can't see any... Oh, one immediate difference is this uh, rear, these antennas, I guess. So this is already what stands out to me a bit because the M400 has a slightly different uh, transmission system, more powerful, giving you more range, up to uh, 20 kilometers. Okay, and now let's actually also talk about the charging cases for these drones, because there's also some quite significant differences that you might want to be aware of before you buy the M400. So firstly, you can see that the case for the M350 is slightly smaller than the case for the uh, M400, both this goes lengthwise and widthwise as well, and also it's a bit uh, deeper, the case for the M400. Um, I'd say roughly 20% larger, is this case and also of course you have to take into account that uh, because of the batteries probably if you have it full of batteries it will be heavier as well so the opening is very similar there's simply these switches so all of this visually is more or less the same handles are on the same places but yeah so main difference at least from the outside is the size uh, so firstly you probably have already noticed that the number of charging ports differs for the m350 it's possible to have uh, four, uh, battery, four battery sets inside of here, so eight batteries in total. For the M400, there's only three battery slots, so three batteries in total. So probably if we think about this in terms of total flight time, uh, it could be more or less the same for, uh, for each case. Okay, so then also with the M400 drone, you get a remote controller battery for the DJI RC plus two enhanced. It's a mouthful, I know, but that's what it's called. Uh, these batteries actually, they seem to be cross compatible. So you can see this is the battery for the uh, controller of the M350. So I just took it from this uh, charging station and there's this one for the M400. Uh, there are some very, very slight differences here on the sides. You can see that in this slot, so the third one from the top, there's a slight difference in how this slot looks like. But um, seems like actually both of these batteries you can charge also with this uh, new charging station, at least this one from the M350. I can also put in here. You can see it's now also uh, charging. So there, this seems to be good. And then this is the battery for the M400. And also I can, uh, yeah, like that. You can also put this in and now this battery also will be charging. So one thing that you might notice actually on the new battery, aside from it being way bigger, almost like a little suitcase, is that to lift it up from the dock, rather than having to pull it up like the previous ones, you just lift this handle and you see it slightly lifts it. And to place it down, you just move the handle in the downwards position. And like that, we can take it out. So like a, like a small, <laughs> how, how to say, sm small appliance almost. So here you can now see the comparison of uh, DJI M350 batteries, two of them compared to the battery of the DJI M400. 
And now on, uh, we will not bother you that much with the specs. So you can on the screen now, you will be able to see the specifications of both of these batteries. But with the M400, the rated flight time is about 59 minutes with the payload on the drone. Okay, so now in front of me, you can see both drones. Thumb, thumbnail image. <laughs> Uh, and uh, so you can firstly see the size difference of both. And actually now I will be uh, unfolding uh, the M400. And actually for me, this is the first time. So you'll be able to see my sort of first impressions having worked with tons of drones in the past, M600, M300, M350, basically almost everything uh, DJI has made. Now uh, let's see the impressions on the M400. Of course, also, I think it's the same as for the battery case, for the drone case. There seems to be an overall about 20-ish, 25%, maybe like let's say 15 20 percent increase in the overall dimensions so you can already see the the motors are larger the uh, drone arms are longer so everything is a bit bigger uh, one thing that already stands out a bit is that actually you can maybe it might be a minor thing but the landing gear of the m350 is uh straight like this but for the m400 if you would maybe uh, look at it from the top or maybe from that angle you can also see is that the landing gear it's not straight uh, like the lines on this case, but they are slightly sort of more open towards the front. And this might be, uh, this is probably intentional by DJI so that the landing gear, maybe it's not in the way of the camera, especially if you're using multiple camera setups. That That's my guess. I might be wrong on that, but that's just one thing which I noticed. Uh, this is the uh, LiDAR sensor that's sitting here on top of the drone. So we can take that cap off. Now you can also see there is this sort of uh, clamp that's holding the uh, front motors. It's good that they labeled this with a sticker that says front. So now this just actually slides off like that, quite easy. Okay, and now we can place the battery gently inside the battery compartment and fold down this arm, which then locks the battery in place. This probably takes some getting used to. Um, my first impression is that it doesn't feel as overall solid as for the M350, because for the M350, I think all of everybody is probably used to this mechanism where you simply unlock it, then you can slide out the, uh, the batteries. So I think this is really good uh, design about this nothing people will need to get uh, used to because for example, the battery on top of the drone, it sits slightly higher than how I would think it should be. It's also interesting to see how it will fare over time. So how well it will uh, keep working once this drone is no longer new. But uh, I guess one thing that is, that is safer for this design is that when the drone is in the flight, the battery can't really accidentally fall out, which I know for the M300s, I believe before they had this locking switch, you could have forgotten to switch it and batteries could come out. Uh, but on this one, battery will stay put no matter what you do. So I think that's def definitely a welcome improvement as well. So this feels very, um, very familiar, having done this a lot with M300. The propellers, they do seem uh, more shiny than the ones on M350. This could be just because they're new, but they do feel like they're made from slightly different material, I would say. If we take this, uh, I'm not sure what's the proper term for this. Uh, it's not wingspan, but propeller span, or essentially this sort of maximum distance of how far they go. Uh, this does seem to be significantly uh, larger than the uh, M350. So now we can also unfold the arms on M350. So these connectors, they do feel like they slide on a lot faster on the uh, arms of the M350. And there we go. So these are these two drones uh, side by side. Let me turn the M350 around. And actually now let me try to see how easy it is to rotate the M400. And yeah, as, as you would expect, it, it does feel uh, significantly larger, significantly heavier. Um, at least you can definitely feel it. Okay, so now you can see uh, beside me both of these drones again, but now they're on the ground with arms unfolded, batteries put in, the M400 and the M350. Um, I can say that at least from first impressions, the M350 does seem a lot more utilitarian, easier to assemble, easier to set up. Um, 
it's also way lighter but of course the flight time also reflects uh, the weight of the drone to some extent and this one you can you can really feel that it is heavier but then again it is able to carry heavier payload up to around six kilograms i believe and also of course it is capable of flying further and flying for longer uh, i would say if you're looking for a drone that is easy to transport uh, the older m350 is probably still better for that but if you're looking for something that allows you to fly for longer to carry heavier payloads then of course the m400 is a very good upgrade for that i would say so now first most important thing the asmr of removing the screen protector So with that out of the way, we can see both controllers, controller of the uh, M350 and controller of the DJI M400. Um, there are some differences as, for example, you can see that the ports are a bit different that you get at the top. So you get USB-C, microSD, USB-A and HDMI there at the top. Uh, on the M350, here you just get HDMI and USB-A. The microSD and USB-C, they are now here at the bottom where the M350 remote controller did not have anything. So that's one difference just to be aware of. Now we can also take off these plastic protectors of the antennas. So you can see also the uh, back of the controller now has this uh, additional antenna here. And yeah, so those are actually the main differences. So now we can try to summarize everything, summarize the first impressions of this drone. So overall, I would say it's, um, it has a lot of familiar things that you obviously know from other DJI drones, but it has also some things that now they're trying to do a lot differently. This means the whole geometry of the drone is different. The weight of it is a lot more than people have been used to. Uh, and the battery system and many other those smaller changes as well. So now one thing to think about is should you upgrade from your M300 or uh, M350 to the Matrice 400. Firstly, uh, think about what sensors you have, because what's important is that this drone, it does not have the support for the H20 series of cameras and also doesn't have support for the um, L1 LiDAR. But if you have uh, the P1, the L2 or the H30 series of DJI cameras, then they are compatible with the M400. Another question you should be asking yourself is how important is longer flight time for you? If you mainly fly shorter missions and you don't maybe even swap, do multiple battery swaps on each of your flights, it might be okay to stick with the older generation of drones. With this one, you do get more flight time, but in return, you do have to carry around heavier equipment, which makes sense for most people. But um, at the same time, if you look at the M300, M350, they are both still very, very capable platforms. So you really have to evaluate whether uh, this uh, increased flight time that this drone gives you, whether it outweighs having to lug around all this heavier equipment but with greater battery with larger size also comes larger payload capacity so this drone is capable of carrying six kilograms while the previous drone the m350 was capable of carrying only 2.7 kilograms so this is a really significant difference i would say and if you really want to carry around some heavier uh, payloads then it also does make sense to upgrade to the m400 and uh, you're probably already aware that the price of this drone is actually more or less the same as the m350 it might depend on the region but um Overall, I think it's a really good thing because considering that uh, this drone is larger, the battery is larger, everything is bigger, but uh, the price actually is more or less the same. This sort of means that it's even cheaper. So yeah, in that sense, uh, good job DJI for keeping the drone's price as is and not raising it up like some other companies. And the new M400 drone is also now compatible with the GCS flight planning software. With version 5.12, we added support for the M400 drone along with some other quite cool new improvements. So if you want to see more, visit our website, link down in the description below and here on the screen as well. Check it out. We now have a GCS Open, which is fully free version, allowing you to plan your missions without paying anything and do professional drone flight planning. So if you have any questions, please leave them down in the comments below. Uh, we'll be more than happy to answer. If you want to see something more regarding the M400, some more comparisons, please let us know what video should we film next. And as always, thank you for watching and see you in the next one.